Now, uh, one of my favourite actors on TV, and I've watched him growing up on Weatherfield's most famous street since he joined the, the cast of Coronation Street from the wee age of nine when his bones were hardly <laughs> formed. Have a look. Chesney, Sam Aston joins us now. Sam, very, Hi, Sam. very good to see you. Sam, this is a heck of a storyline, mate. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's been great to uh, be part of it. And obviously, Dolly has been you know, a huge part of this one. So, um, yeah, it's, it's it's a privilege to be part of such a strong and, you know, um, poignant story. Yeah, and it's it's great at raising awareness of postnatal depression, Sam. Um, were, were you and Dolly, you know, did you have to take advice of how to play this and how to get it so real? Yeah, I, I think, obviously, on, from Dolly's perspective, she did. Um, but with, as far as, like, my character goes, I was um, a bit more... Um, not totally blind to it, but I think he was just more concentrating on trying to provide for, you know, the clots for Gemma. So he's going off to work and I don't think he sees the the severity of it, you know, how serious that, you know, that she's, how much she's struggling, if you like. So uh, I think on Chesney's point of view, he was just kind of doing what he needed to do to provide. Yeah, obviously, food um, it showed very clearly, uh, you know, when we saw Gemma in the doctor's surgery with Chesney, where she said, I just feel so ashamed. And that's why I think so many women keep that to themselves. They're, you know, their partners, husbands don't always know. But, but it is an it's an education for everyone. Yeah. Not only women what to go in through, not only medics um, spotting and yeah. recognising this, but, but the big thing is for, for men, Sam. Yeah, this is it. I think, um, you know, I mean, maybe it's a huge thing and... Um, obviously, it is, yeah, like you say, it's a very uh, real um, problem. But the main thing is, if you can, you know, the biggest is opening up and um, trying to talk to, you, you know, your lovely partner or whatever. Um, and just maybe admitting that, you know, you, you're struggling, you're not coping. Um, even if you feel, you know, shameful or anything like that, you've, um, you know, you've got a, there's a lot of people out there and they feel very, sometimes you feel isolated, you feel like you're the only one. And like, this is Gemma's case. She feels like she should love her children. Um, and she's having these horrible thoughts and she just doesn't know how to deal with it. But she made a big step, obviously, in yeah. admitting that she's not coping. Yeah. Um, um, Sam, can I, can I talk to, about the practicalities of this? Um, you know, having the children on set, the babies, not babies, children, yeah. babies on set. We're talking about quadruplets. Give us an insight into all of this because the four aren't really four. How many are the four? Well, originally it was five. Uh, we were told there was going to be about eight. There was originally five, and then now five has gone to seven. So we've got another set of twins. So there's, a, there's triplets, and then there's two separate sets of twins. So there's quite a lot of it. Sam, could you even imagine? I mean, you got married to, to your lovely girlfriend, Brani, last year. Could you even imagine, like, In four babies at once? I mean, I'm from a big family myself, but four babies at once, that's intense. Um, we're okay because we just get them for a little bit and then we hand them back to the parents, so it's quite easy. Can, I, can I say, it mightn't be the time to ask this. Maybe, you know, bear in mind, your hands are pretty full, um, uh, 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 you know, as Chesney, but are we never going to see another Schmeichel, a Schmeichel Mark II again? I don't know. How do you, um, I don't know, how do you replicate Schmeichel? <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll see. I, I think they've got enough on the hands, like you say at the minute, but um, you never know. Obviously, Chesney's... Big fan of dogs and stuff, yeah. and he's a bit busy oh. at the moment, isn't he? Listen, Sam, we've we've loved watching you. As Eamon said, we've loved watching you growing up on on Coronation Street, and it really is a terrific storyline. I think you and Dolly and all all the team are doing a, a marvelous job at highlighting postnatal depression. Thank you very much, uh, and stay safe, won't you? Love to everybody. And you too. All the best. Thank you. Thank God you, bless. Love. Thank you very much indeed.